Hey, I'm Srini, host and founder of the Unmistakable Creative Podcast and the creator of Maximize Your Output with Mem. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Zapier and Evernote to get your notes from Readwise into Mem. And if you haven't checked it out, be sure to check out our free course on how to take smart notes. I'll include a link in the description below. Now, let's get to the tutorial. What I'm going to show you how to do is to use Evernote, Readwise, and Zapier so that you can get your notes from Readwise into Mem because Mem doesn't have a native Readwise integration. And the first step to doing that is to connect Readwise to Evernote. And the way you do that is to go here to connect and sync and then to export highlights. And then you configure this right here. And all you have to do is enter your username and password. And then what you'll see here is that you can set it to automatically export your highlights into Evernote. So basically what will happen is every time you add new highlights, uh, a new note will be created in Evernote. So let's just go to an example article here you can see I have a few different highlights already inside of here, but let's just go ahead and add a few more highlights. And personally, I recommend using the Readwise Reader, but you could use this same process if you were using something like Pocket. What matters is that the tool that you're using has a Zapier integration. But the nice thing about this is that it actually is already integrated with Readwise. So one other thing that's really important here is the tagging, because tagging is what allows you to filter notes. Otherwise, you're going to end up just importing a mess from Evernote into Mem. And the way that you add document tags is right over here. And then those tags will be automatically brought over into Evernote. And that becomes really important when we are setting up the zap. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually set up a zap. And what this zap does is it tells uh, mem that every time there's a new note inside of Evernote, which is our trigger, what we want to do is we want to create a mem. So what you'll see here is that here's a new note right here titled success is a lagging indicator. This is from a couple days ago. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull in another note. And you can see here we have this article titled the tech that will invade our lives, which is an article from the New York Times. So what we're going to do is we're going to press continue. And the other thing we want to do here is we want to set up a filter for articles. And you may want to do this for book notes too, depending on how you have things set up in Evernote. But what this does is it tells Mem or it tells the Zap that you know don't create this new Mem inside of based on the new note in Evernote unless that is an article or has the tag article. Now, the other thing that is important here is a delay. Now, why do we set up the delay? One thing that happens when you're using Readwise and Evernote is that Readwise will actually import all the highlights and it'll update Evernote every time you add a new highlight. But the thing is that let's say, for example, you come back to this article or you don't do all of your highlights in one go. What will then happen is it will still create the mem, but you won't get all of your highlights. And the way to avoid that is to set up a delay. So what I have this set to do is to delay for four hours. So that way, all of the highlights from the article are inside that note in Evernote before it ever goes inside of Mem. And you can see here, I have uh, a bunch of different notes. And what it's going to do is it's going to pull the article that we were looking at before. And we're going to go ahead and test this action just to make sure it works. And this is something you want to do every time you set up a zap. So that way, you can make sure everything turns out the way you want it to. Now, what we're going to do is tell Zapier to create a mem based on the content that was inside of the note that we're pulling in. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the mem essentials zap uh, mem account or whatever your mem account is. And you'll see here that this mem content has a couple of different things. It has a title, it has the tag article. So that way you don't actually have to worry about tagging once you're inside of mem, it gets automatically. And then we have the content here that allows us to import things. And if we press continue and we go ahead and test the action, you'll see here that it's sending a mem into mem right now. And let's go ahead and open up mem really quick and see how that looks. And there is that article and all of the notes with it along with the tag article. This actually is a good way to shortcut this process of importing your notes from Readwise directly into mem. You can also do this for book notes as well. One thing that I would say about book notes is that you really want to be mindful about this delay and you may want to consider setting up a separate zap for your book notes because sometimes I don't finish all of my book notes in one go and 
what we want to make sure is that we get all the content that was in our highlights into that mem. Because as you can see here, you know, for example, I have this book, The Evolving Self, and I haven't actually captured a lot of the highlights from that book yet. And if I didn't have a delay in here, what would happen is then mem would create a mem with just this note and any of the new highlights that I added to it afterwards wouldn't get added. So a delay is really an important part of this. So to recap again, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to set up your Evernote integration inside of Readwise. You go here to export highlights and you connect Evernote to Readwise. The next thing you want to make sure you do is use some sort of tag or some sort of filter. So that, that way you're not just bringing in every single thing into mem because we want to be deliberate about the information we're allowing into mem so that we can actually put it to use. And then what you're going to do is you're going to set up your zap, which basically says anytime there's a new note in Evernote and that is actually an article or whatever filter you chose, delay it for four hours, which gives you the ability to make sure that all of the things you want to capture are already, are already inside of the, the note, then create a mem based on that content. And I'll include a link to this zap as well that you can just make a copy of and replace with your own information. And as always, feel free to contact me with any questions or leave them in the comments below.